Hello and welcome to Enjoy Harmonica. My name is Callum. What we're going to be looking at in this lesson, beginner's lesson, is uh, how to make your harmonica play more interesting. How to make your harmonica play more interesting. So, if you want to learn how to do that, uh, go on to YouTube and watch the rest of this video. See you soon. So well Welcome to uh, beginner lessons and how to make your uh, harmonica play more interesting. Now one of the ways you can certainly do this is by changing the key of the music. Let's say you've got some music and let's take Frederick Jacques for example and then it's, it's in the key of C, just for a little bit actually. So it's quite nice as you can see, it sounds good, it, everybody recognises it, it's popular. But why don't we change the key to, for example, the key of F. Okay, that's quite a high key. Um, uh, so let's just see how that sounds. Okay, I'll just play the same part I played there, or just the beginning of the jack I played, okay? And then use the same holes, so, uh, you know, we'll just see what it sounds like. Well, to me that sounds a little bit too high pitched, a little bit tinny perhaps even. But if you played that with a band, huh, that that high pitch would sound quite sweet, a bit like a sweet melody. So we change the the, the um, dynamic dynamics if you like of the song. Okay, so let's try another key. Let's try uh, the. <laughs> The key of A, that's a, that's a lower key. Um, uh, so let's just see how that sounds, shall we? So again, you see, that's, that's, I think that's a bit, little bit nicer. It's a different key. I, I feel that's a better key to play for Jacques. It's better than C actually. So that is certainly one way you can improve your, uh, your uh, and then make your music more interesting. Okay, so another way you can make your uh, music more interesting is to play it uh, fast and slow and uh, loud or soft. So we'll just do some variations of that on uh, a popular tune called You Are My Sunshine. I'm sure you know the rhythm of that, how fast it goes, how, slow, how loud it goes and so forth. I'm sure you know that, but I'll play it for you and just a little bit for you just to give you what it should sound like. So that's kind of how it should sound like, and I see how I go by the way. So I'm going to play the whole song through it for you now, but I'm going to vary it using uh, different uh, volume control and uh, fast or slow, okay? So just to give you an idea uh, what it would be like, okay? So I use increase and decrease in the volume there. I use different speeds and uh, I think that made it a little bit more different. So that's the second way that you can make your, your harmonica play 
more interesting. So another way you can make your music more interesting is uh, the use of your, your hands, okay? Um, by the way, I've come into the bathroom to demonstrate this because there's a lovely sound in the bathroom when you play the harmonica. So again, that's another way to make it a bit more, add a bit more interest to the harmonica play. Play it in the bathroom. It sounds great, it sounds a lot of echoey. It's got a great acoustic effect, it's fantastic. So, um, yeah, so the use of the hands. So now, I think we've discussed in a previous video how you hold a monitor um, with your hands cupped so you can use them for the wild wire sound. So, just by using the wild wire sound and by moving your hands in different ways, and, you know in the back of the harmonica, you can make some interesting sounds. So I'm not going to play any tune in particular, I'm just going to play a few single notes up and down the harmonica and uh, use my hands to demonstrate to you uh, how interesting it can be. Okay. So I think it gives you a, a very basic idea. Okay, so that's the use of the hands. So what we're going to talk about now really in making your harmonica play more interesting is the use of your tongue. It's a, it's a big muscle and uh, as a muscle obviously it can go into various shapes. Now when we start the bending lessons, now this, this is not a bending lesson so don't view it that way, but when you do start the bending lesson, you'll be moving your tongue backwards in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in your mouth and raising it slightly. So that's, that would be what would be what causes a bend. Now we're going to do it slightly in this lesson, but we're also going to talk about uh, uh, vibrato and tremolos briefly, that kind of thing, or that kind of noise. Okay. <laughs> So um, so what you want to do is get your harmonica and put it in your mouth and just blow a single note and just see what different noises you can make by moving the tongue forward and backwards. Um, or well, try it with the in breath first, moving the tongue backwards and sideways in your mouth and doing various bits and pieces of that. So we'll try that first. Okay. Um, any hole you like really, but mainly down the, down the, far, down the lower no end, so there's one, two, three or four. So you're breathing in and you're just moving them, you're just talking about the place, right? So you get them the effects like that, can you? Now it's not bending, it's just moving your tongue in and out. You might have caused a little bit of a bend when you put your tongue back and it just happened to go up a bit. But it's not a bending lesson, it's just how to make your music more interesting. Now we're going to do the same, this time blowing out of the hole, blowing the hole rather than drawing the hole. And just move your tongue forward if you can. Uh, which if you do it properly, you could get an over, you could get a blow bend rather. Uh, but just muck about your tongue. Blowing outwards, remember, in, in the single hole. So did you did you hear it change pitch? Then you probably when you when you actually do it yourself, you feel your tongue moving back and forward, and uh, that would be building. When you do the more you do that, the more you build up your muscle control which will prepare you, prepare you for uh, the bending lesson later on. So that's another way you can make your music more interesting. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you to make your music more interesting <coughs> oh, excuse me, is uh, something so called uh, the glissando. Glissando, I think I've said that one. Uh, or the slide, that's easy to say. Uh, so we'll call it the slide from that one. <laughs> 
And that's simply sliding down the harmonica. Or up the harmonica. Um, and you can do it on the, the blow. Or the draw of the harmonica. Now, what you need to do really is practice going from the single note that you're playing to the note that you're aiming for, just playing the single whole, not the, not the slice. So let's say, for example, you're playing whole four and you're just going to slide up to whole seven. Well, what you need to do really, first of all, is practice playing these two notes, uh, the four and the seven, four and the seven, four and the seven, over and over till you get it right. Okay? So this is it now. So just practice that, pause the, the, the video and just practice, make sure you can get that right. Now the reason for that is because when you do the slide, you want to know what note you're aiming for. You want to hear the pitch so you know when to stop. <laughs> um, so that's really the idea behind that. So do that, you know. And what you're, what you're aiming for is nice clean notes, not dirty notes. Clean notes because a slide always stops on on a clean note, never a dirty note. And then then try them. So we're going to go from four to seven. You see, uh, it's as simple as that. And you're hearing the notes in between. That's not a problem. Um, as long as you hear the four and the seven. During that piece of the whatever piece of music you're playing, distinctively and clearly and singly, uh, then that you've achieved what you want to achieve regarding the use of a slide, and you can do it up the harmonica as well if you want. So you can go from seven to four. Sorry, I'm doing dirty notes and I shouldn't be doing that. Silly me. Let's try again. So um, if you do get a dirty note like I demonstrated then, slow it down and then gradually speed it up until you're at the right speed for the song. Um, so there's no real rules about the slide. You can do it all the way down, down the harmonica or all the way up. And you can do it on the in-breath as well as the blow. This is the in-breath. And you can do it in any key. And uh, just anywhere in a song that you think it's appropriate. Don't overuse it because it gets boring. Anyway, thank you for listening and paying attention to Enjoy Harmonica Beginner Lessons. How to make your harmonica playing more interesting. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.